Good day everyone, this is Al from OS UK and welcome to a new episode. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share the video so I can create more content for you. Now without any delay, let's go and let's have a look what we're going to do. Today we're going to overview the actual Crocoblock Jet Theme Core plugin. It is a plugin that lets you create websites from ready-made pages. I am using a cyber panel server using the cyber panel script. Let me know in the description below if you want to know how to install this on an Ubuntu server. So as I said, we're going to look at Jet Theme Core and we're going to use the easy to start magic button library. Using this library, you can create nearly any kind of website you need from ready-made pages and blocks where you can create custom 404 pages for example you can customize headers and footers you can create archive post page templates single post and a lot more so let's go to the wordpress dashboard i'm going to plugins and i'm going to start some of the plugins as they are at the moment all deactivated so i'm going to do elementor crocker block wizard jet engine jet the core the one we need now if anything that is needed by the jet core or for example some of the pages perhaps they need different type of plugins we're going to do that and activate it later on for now that's what i'm going to do and perhaps i'm going to do uh, woocommerce let's see so i'm going to go on the top activate and apply all right so now we have activated the plugins let's go to pages and let's start and create a new home page i'm going to click add new so the name is home now just to make sure you know i am using the canva theme from cocklebox and i'm using the child theme as well for this one okay let's go back now i'm going to do edit with elementor now as you can see here we got the blue button here is the magic wand from crocoblock theme core all i gotta do is just click it and here I can get started with ready-made single pages and full sites. I also got headers, footers, section, archive, single pages, and you can have your own library as well. And as you can see here, we got ready-made sections. Or you can go and just have ready-made pages with all the section needed. To import it, it's quite simple, for example. Just go on top let's activate a license a second so let's refresh again uh, just activate the actual license so here we go we got the about for example we go the home page for finance i'm going to click on top here and all i got to do really is just insert the page this is what i'm going to do for example for the home page and then i'm going to show you how to use blocks to insert each block to create a page where you can actually match anything you want and change whatever you need based on your design all right so the page has been done let's expand this so you can see it better we don't have the social menu and the main menu what i'm going to do i'm going to set the main menu here there we go and i'm going to save that also i'm going to set the social menu so we got the two menu here and then we're going to publish. Now let's go and refresh this. Let's see if that comes up. And as you can see here, we got at least this one here. Now we don't have the social menu there. So we got to have a look at that in a second. Now let's say, for example, as you can see here, we got a kind of a footer, but you know, you like something different. What you can do here, you can actually click again on this button, go on footer. And create a new footer or add anything else on top on that so let's say i like this one here i'm going to insert it and as you can see we got an extra footer indeed we got this one here but again you know we can actually delete that if you want to publish it and that's it you got this going like that and as you can see you got as well your menu now let's go back and let's create another page and in this way, we're going to make it using blocks rather than a full page. It is exactly the same thing, but rather than import all the blocks in one go as one page, you do it one by one. Call it blocks and I'm going to 
click edit with Elementor. Now we already got a page, uh, sorry, we got the header and a footer. What I'm going to go, I'm going to go back, tell you what, let's do it in a totally different way. Let's do this. Then I'm going to use the Elementor Canva, canvas, sorry. That will remove everything. So we can actually work with a blank canvas. Now what we're going to do, we're going to import each block individually. So we got the header. Again, it's up to you which one you want. Um, for this demonstration, I'm just going with the first on top here. I'm going to add the logo, media library. We don't have a logo there. Um, let's have a look. Logically, I didn't have the logo. So this is the reason why it doesn't work. All right, so we go to the blocks. We start with the header. I'm going to choose the first one that comes up. Here we go. We got the logo and now we got the actual menu with the actual icons for the social media. Let's click it again and let's start with the actual sections. I'm only going to add a couple of sections here, not a lot. On the left side, you can have, have a look at all of it again, uh, or you can actually go one by one and choose what you want. I like the one with the you know, section here, so I'm going to do insert. For the archive and single, you usually use that one for the blog post. Here we go, we do that now for the rest. As you can see, there are so many to choose from. With this, you can literally build any type of website. I mean, you can actually insert price lists if you want to, images, call to action. Here we go, that's uh, another section. And um, finally, I'm going to put the footer here. And as you can see, we are got the actual footer as well. Now, before I wrap it up everything, I'm going to show you the archives and the single pages. This is for the posts. Now, I don't have any posts in this demo uh, website, but you do exactly the same. We just insert and that will be auto populated. Single, you can create single pages and that will be automatically recalled every time someone click on a single post. Yeah, you can choose the topics and that's it. Then you got your library. At the moment, there's nothing here and I haven't created anything that will show up anyway. But again, even if you go to uh, sections, for example, or any other tab, really, you got the opportunity to insert or you could actually clone, as you can see here, clone to library. Once you clone it to the library, it will go automatically to my library. As you can see, we got the actual cloned section in my library. That's how easy it is. So that's it. Uh, let's uh, go out and let's see what it looks like. Now, somehow the actual Euro post is not showing. I don't know why. Let's refresh. Let's purge this page. Perhaps it's cached through the old one. There we go. Now it actually works. And we got the actual slider as well, as you can see. So as you can see, it's so easy to use as a, an amazing plugin and the costs are really low, even though, to be honest, I always believe that the actual bargain is to have the entire all-inclusive um, pack, you know, the entire products. And that comes about $130 per year. This one, and this is, for, by the way, is for one website. If you want to limit the website, unfortunately, it's $265. So thanks again, guys, for uh, enjoying me for this uh, small overview of the actual plugin from Crocoblock. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you next time.